Now here's another song I made. Really. Boy's song is way out of, ten, out of jailhouse. It would happen. He had a girlfriend, called it his wife. And then after he found out what his wife is, it's his woman. Sweetheart with her. She did something to him she had never did before. The folks said, wonder what was that? She got in the bed with another man mm -hmm. while he was there and made him a patty down on the floor. Then he got mad and he got buried with his gun in his hand. And Freddie, <clears throat> the woman saw him coming to the bed, you know, with the gun to kill her. And she jumped up and fell down on her knees and told Freddie, spare my life if you please. But he shot her and the man got away. And he went with the gun hunting the man and run up on the police. He said, Fred, I heard you killed your woman. He said, yeah, Judge, I'm looking for that man. And then he says, uh, say, look at here, Judge. When you got made, you come in home and found your woman with another man in your bed. Judge had to agree with him. He said, yeah, I sure would. And while he said, I sure would, he just vanished on away from the judge, went on down the road and met his daddy. The dad said, son, yeah, well, you done wrong. He said, what did I do wrong at Paul? So when you found out that woman wasn't treating you right, why you let her alone? Then he turned around and matched the wood back to his dad. He said, Papa, Papa, when you got made, if you're coming home and found Mama with another man in your bed, Papa said, yes, yeah, son. So he couldn't get up around that wood. See, I'll tell you what I'll do. So if the judge gives you 40 years, I'll have him to pardon you. Because mm -hmm. he's done the same thing your son done. Then Fred lays down on that pallet, which she made on mm. the floor. He tried not to paint no mind while they went to bed. But after a while, he laid there and he was walking the hood in the spring, you know, crying. <laughs> chang, chang, you know what was happening mm. there. <laughs> he got up and got mad. And he shot the woman and the man escaped. And he was running down the man, the man got away. So his mama looked at him and she walked to the door. He said, Mama, my only son you got, I know you hate to see me go for being a bad, bad man. That's a lot of places to think of him. Now I'm afraid, woman, she done something you had never done before. She was in me with another man. Been afraid.
Confession. That's one of my favorites. Well, Fred was, he was rough, but he had a word to match everybody. Only thing he couldn't get around was his mother. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when she looked at him, she walked to the door. He said, Mama, I know I'm the only son you got. And I know you hate to see me go for being a bad man with my gun in my hand. I see that kind of sadden up him a little bit there. Mm -hmm. But all the other people, he had something to brace up to. He told his papa, said, Papa, when you got made, you come mm -hmm. in all and find Mama with another man in your bed. Papa had to say, yeah. Then he told the policeman, said, look at here, Judge, how could you stand and have a load out of woman spending your money? and fooling around with another man. He would say, yes, you're right. And while he fooling around there, thinking of what he said so solid to him, Fred got by and went on left him standing there. So he sung his way out of jail, huh? Sung his way out of jail. When right. he sung, sung that song? Mm -hmm. In Marlin Jail. And he was just singing. Is that the same one that Lead Belly was in? No, that's in Marlin up here, going towards mm -hmm. Waco and Pope Whatever. See, the jailer feeds you a certain time of day when mm -hmm. you're in jail. The jailer takes his breakfast or uh, some lunch time down there, and he was walking up to the jail door on the outside. This guy was in there singing this, and he stopped and listened. It sounds so good and true to him. He didn't know a lot to jail do. He went back and told the judge, said, let's go down there and say, this guy is singing that song. He sang in his confession and saying the way it sound, I don't think we should bother him because every word he said there has really got a match to it. The judge and, well, two more men, or who's that one, went down there and he trapped them. Mm -hmm. And he was playing this song. He didn't know he was out there. And so they opened the jail when he got through singing it, told him to walk out. And said, that's where that happened, the way you singing it, so you got to leave me. Mm -hmm. Told me to put him out of jail. So let him go. Did he come? Uh, did he live around here, hmm? or did he stay up there? I don't know where he went, but a fellow that heard that song come in here you know, way back in 19, I'd say 1917. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing right here in town for a Saturday night dance. His name was Big Joy. They call him Big Dog. Here's a South Carolina. Big George? Call him George, yeah, mm -hmm. Big George. And he come in late in the night, and I'm playing guitar right there for a dance right there in town, down on the little branch, what we call in the vamp. And he come in there while I was playing, and he got to singing that song. He sung it just patting his hand. I sat there and listened to that guy, and it sounds so sad and good, and had the time to it, so he just patting mm -hmm. his hand and sang it. They had him sing that song right there until he picked up right around a dollar and a half and nickels and dimes. I'm catching all I want listening to it. I'm just mm -hmm. listening to his voices and the way he had it rhymed up. But it was sounding a little different from I'm playing in this key, you know. Mm -hmm. But he was singing it just like I'm singing it. But I'm got to play it in the way I can sing it. Now he wasn't playing anything. Just packing his hand, mm -hmm. keeping time with his song. Fred's woman done something she had never done before. And man, that, that boy picked up right around close to two dollars. Dollar and something, and nickels and dime, and the pressure was on. Mm -hmm. and he just sung around there until the people quit getting a little nickel. He went to the table, got him something to eat and some coffee. Sat there by me, listening to me play other songs. I wouldn't try it while I was there, because mm -hmm. I knew I wasn't going to get it right. And then after I got away from him, went on off to myself, then I got me a song out this guitar and out of my voice. And every mm -hmm. voice he gave me sang, he put it in there. The people thought that was the best song in the world. And I don't go nowhere if anybody know me, what you don't ask me to play free. It's a mighty fine song. Did he write it himself or did he say he learned it from somebody else? That boy sung it in the jailhouse. Mm -hmm. See? Oh, that's the guy that wrote the song. Yeah, he bound to wrote it because he's uh -huh. in the jail. That's yeah. the only time anybody ever heard it. There's the judges and, and jailers what were feeding him and mm -hmm. people who went there and he drafted on the outside and listened to him. And then this guy picked it up, you know, from somewhere out there and come to Navasoli and told us just the image of it, how it started. Mm -hmm. 